Historically, the main barrier to entry for contributing to an open source project is that you had to know how to write code. And in the era of AI and vibe coding, that's not necessarily really the case anymore. For some features, you really do have to have a deep understanding of the code, but for a lot of smaller bug fixes and new features, you really don't, and the AI can actually do a pretty good job on its own. To make that really easy for anyone to try out and play around with, I've written a bot which will take any suggestion for how to make Maslow better and build a new firmware version for you to test with that feature. Here's a quick demo of how it works. So here's how it works. Uh, I am currently logged in to a new GitHub account I made. This is just a random, brand new account. And I've come here to the Maslow 4 GitHub repository and clicked on issues. I'll leave a link to this in the video description. And I'm just gonna click on new issue here. And what we're gonna try to do is add a progress bar. Right now, when you're running a G-code file, there's no way to see how far through the cut you are currently. And it'd be really nice to have that. So I'm gonna have the AI, while we're running a file, I'm gonna have the AI replace these uh, this load g-code button and the upload and the delete g-code with a progress bar. So we're going to say add progress bar while I'm going to say And we're going to say replace the G code, drop down the upload G code, and then delete G code button. The upload G code file. So you can see I just wrote, you know. My idea, I gave it a little bit of guidance for like where I wanted it to appear, but generally just writing in English what I want. And if I press create here, so we created this issue and what's going to happen, it'll take a few minutes, but what's going to happen is the bot is going to task this to an AI and the AI is going to start thinking and it's going to create a new pull request. This pull request is going to be the um, changes that it's proposing. And this takes about 15, 20 minutes. So just let it cook. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, we're back. The AI has now updated this page. We're on the same page as we were before. Uh, but now we can see the AI has done the work we asked it to do. It's added that feature, and now it's time to test it. And anyone who's worked on contributing to a software project knows that just getting the project to build on your computer can be like 90% of the struggle. So we've tried to make that part easy as well. So we're just going to come down here to the comment sections and we're just going to say at MasloBot, please build. And by commenting that, that's going to trigger the bot to build a firmware version for us to test. It's going to give us all the files to upload to our machine. And again, this takes a few minutes, so give it some time and we'll come back when it's ready. So here we can see that the bot has generated our files for us. So we click this link here. It will take us to our files. We'll download these guys. And now if we unzip this, we can update our machine just like we would normally. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do this one first. So I'm gonna update the index.html file. And then I'm gonna update the firmware. Now our machine is running the new firmware that we just created by asking the AI to make it for us. So we'll get everything set up again here. And if we run a file, let's see if we get a progress bar. Okay, looks like we have a progress bar.
So now we have the progress bar, but maybe it's not quite the way we li would like it to be. Uh, I think that progress bar was a little bit thin. Let's ask the AI to basically make changes. We can give it feedback on what we think about its uh, results. So here we can say at Maslobot, please make the So we can say, please make the progress bar thicker and use the same flat icon style as the rest of the UI. And now if we comment this, what's gonna happen is the AI is then gonna see our comment, it's gonna try to implement our recommended changes and we're gonna have the option to basically repeat the process again. We can ask it to build a new version, we can test it and we can see if we like the results. Here we go. We can see that the AI has made some changes based on our feedback. And again, we can ask it to build us a version to test. Here we have the new version built for us, ready to test. Exactly the same as last time. We're going to download it and then update our machine. And let's take a look and see how this new version looks. Okay, so the progress bar is a little bit chunkier. It looks a little bit more like the rest of our user interface, which I think is basically exactly what we asked for. So I think this looks good to go. So there you can see we've made a meaningful contribution to the open source software without having to actually write any code. All it takes is basically an idea for how things can be better and a willingness to test and iterate on that idea. So yeah, feel free to give it a try and play around with it. Uh, keep in mind that these are just suggestions for how to improve the software. Uh, you can't mess anything up. Every change has to be reviewed and approved by me before it becomes part of the Maslow software. Uh, I think a big part of my job here is to make sure that the software doesn't get bloated. We want to keep it simple and easy to use. Um, so don't be too offended if I don't merge your change into the main software. But overall, I'm really excited about this. I think it's a really interesting and meaningful way for people to contribute to the project without having to actually learn how to code or you know, set up the whole tool chain. Um, and yeah, give us your feedback. I'd love to hear if it works for you, if you think there's ways it could be better. And have a great week, everyone.